question, the joint connection schedule, exhibitor resource page, registration, housing, booth setup, exhibitor service kit, shipping, exhibitor marketing kit, exhibitor testimonials from 2016 and upcoming deadlines. There's a lot to cover, so let's just jump right in. I'd like to introduce my teammate to you. Her name is Teddy McLaughlin. She is the trade show coordinator for NAON and can assist with any questions you have leading up to the event. Teddy has been with NAON since the fall of 2015, coordinating food and beverage, housing, and special events. She recently joined me with Trade Show and will assist in all logistics related to the Joint Connection. I will also be available to assist with any questions you have. I've been with NAON since 2011 and I'm very excited to be hosting the event in San Juan, Puerto Rico this year. The mission of the National Association of Orthopedic Nurses is to advance the specialty of orthopedic nursing through excellence in research, education, and nursing practice. On site in Puerto Rico, we are expecting close to 1,000 attendees and over 20 exhibiting companies. Who are the attendees? Let's get to know the audience. 70% have more than 10 years of experience, 45 have more than 20 years of experience, and 27% work in a managerial role. This will be a great opportunity to be in front of a very experienced group and also share your knowledge with some new to the industry as well. The most common positions our attendees hold are staff nurse, nurse manager, supervisor coordinator, nurse practitioner, and instructor educator. 83% of attendees at Congress also work in a hospital, so it's good to keep in mind. What is the Joint Connection? The Joint Connection began in 2015. It is an innovative take on a traditional exhibit hall, which immerses attendees in one all-you-can-do area. Attendees can network with exhibitors, chat with each other, enjoy a snack, watch a presentation at the stage, or take a quick, quick break. Basically, if the nurses are not in a session, we want them to be in the Joint Connection, taking advantage of everything it has to offer. A new area this year that we're excited about is the Creativity Zone. Here, the nurses can learn how to connect on social media and also do other activities to network with fellow nurses, including coloring books, board games, arts and crafts, and writing cards for a local children's hospital. The Creativity Zone used to be called the Social Media Lounge, if you have been at the Joint Connection before. There are six key areas of the Joint Connection in addition to the exhibitors. The first is the NAN Resource Center, which will be here in the bottom left-hand side. This is a place for attendees to go and buy NAN merchandise, educational, and practice resources and ask about membership if they have any questions for our team. The second is the Joint Connection Lounge, which is right here in the center. This provides a place for attendees to relax, charge their phone, and network with one another. Next is the new Creativity Zone here in the back left which will have lots of fun activities, which I just touched on, uh, including arts and crafts, board games, and taking a selfie with Louie, and much, much more. And then in the back here will be where the posters are located. Uh, um, these are education-related, and nurses can receive CNE credit by viewing and reading the posters. The stage, which is on the right-hand side, will host presentations by various exhibitors presenting about new products, and services to assist orthopedic nurses in their day-to-day. -day. In addition to these presentations, NAN will be hosting what we call the Orthopedic Olympics and the Passport to Prizes drawing. If you are interested in presenting for 15 minutes, this is available for an additional $1,500. You can reach out to David Perez Hernandez with our sales team, or you can send an email to myself at exhibit at orthonurse.org, and I can always connect you with David. And then finally, we have two cyber stations here and here. The locations of these could change a little bit, but that's where they are for now. Um, this is where we will have laptops available for the nurses to use to enter in their information to receive their CNE credits and to browse the internet, check email, et cetera, for whatever they need while they are gone. Okay, so where will the joint connection be located? It will be located here in Exhibit Hall C of the Puerto Rico Convention Center, which is across the street from the Sheridan. Sheridan is over this direction. It's not that close, um, but like I said, just across the street within walking distance. And then registration will be located just outside the entrance to the Joint Connection here. So you walk in and go through this little hallway here and you can't miss it. Okay, the Joint Connection schedule. 
Move-in will begin on Friday, May 19th at 12 p.m. and will end on Saturday, May 20th at 1 o'clock. All exhibitors must be set by 1 on Saturday. The joint connection will then open at 2 o'clock. The joint connection hours I have listed here are the times the joint connection will be open to all attendees and exhibitors. On the next slide, I will review the dedicated exhibit hours, so don't panic. You won't need to be in your booth this entire time. The purpose of the joint connection is to be available during all hours of Congress so the nurses have somewhere to go between sessions. Therefore, we have it open for several hours each day, but do not require you and your team to be in your booth this entire time. Move out will be on Monday from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock. All exhibitors must be clear of the hall by 5. And then here are these dedicated hours. Saturday from 2 to 4. Uh, this is a time for the attendees to view the joint connection prior to the opening ceremony. It's kind of like their first peek into what will be in there the entire show. Uh, during this time, we'll have light snacks, tea, and lemonade available. And then on Saturday evening from 6.15 to 7.45 is the opening reception. There will be hors d'oeuvres available as well as a cash bar. Each full conference attendee will also receive a drink ticket. They can use it either this reception or during the Congress party taking place on Sunday evening. On Sunday, the dedicated hours are from 10.45 to 1.45 and there will be an ice cream break starting at 12.45. The last day of exhibits will take place on Monday from 10.15 to 12. On this day, we host the NAN Mall, which consists of NAN chapters that sell various items to raise money for their local chapter. In addition, we will be doing the prize drawing for the Bones card game, as well as passport to prizes. If your company is interested in participating in passport to prizes, this is a $500 add-on, and you can let myself or our sales manager, David, know. Passport, the Passport to Prizes program um, is where nurses receive a passport card and they have to collect stamps and answer questions from all the participating exhibitors to be entered into a drawing for great prizes, such as Amex gift cards, Kindles, and other items. This is a great traffic driver for your booth as all participating exhibitors have to submit a question in advance that the nurses will need to answer, which can lead to further discussions. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for a traffic driver to lead people to your booth. Um, the nurses love playing different games and keeping active. Okay, the exhibitor resource page is a great tool to reference when you have questions. Uh, so if you've, if you've not been here already, definitely recommend it. Um, this is the direct link, which we'll go to now, and then you can also find it on the website under Exhibit at Congress, and then just click on Exhibitor Resources. So we will switch over to the website here. So this is the exhibitor resource page. We have um, promotional opportunities section here, uh, which includes the prospectus, um, the marketing kit, which we'll touch on a little later, the logo. There's also um, the general conference and exhibit information. We have exhibitor critical dates, an exhibitor FAQ page. This includes most question, answers to most questions you might have, um, the questions that we get most often, so definitely check that out. Um, housing and travel information, the floor plan, so you can see where your booth is in relation to everything else. Um, newsletters will be posted on the resource page. You've got the first one here. The next one will be sent out in a few days. Um, hotel information, the schedule for the joint connection, which we just touched on, and then the exhibitor service kit. Here's a link to the PDF um, and also the link to the online ordering system and then also exhibitor registration and our contact information for the show team. So. So this is a great tool uh, to use. I'm going to go back to our PowerPoint. Do this correctly. OK. Next is exhibitor registration. So exhibitor registration is open. You should have received an email from Rena with our registration team. Included with your booth are two complimentary uh, joint connection only registrations. Please note that no one is automatically registered. So if you're going to the event, you will need to register yourself and anyone else from your team. Additional badges are $100 each, and then the deadline to register is Friday, May 12th. I encourage you to register in advance, so it's easy when you show up on site, you can just come and pick up your badge and be on your way. Housing, if you have not done so already, be sure to book your housing. There are two official hotels for NAN, the Sheridan and the Carib Hilton. The Sheridan uh, Puerto Rico Hotel and Casino is within walking distance to the Convention Center. NAN will provide complimentary shuttle service between the Puerto Rico Convention Center and the Hilton, since that's a little bit further away. It's close to a mile. 
So keep that in mind. And then please note the Sheridan is currently sold out on the nights of May 19th, 20 and 21st. Uh, so I'd recommend if you need to book rooms, uh, looking at the Hilton, like I said, we'll all have a shuttle that goes back and forth and uh, the walk is quite nice if you, you know, like to be outside, especially since we'll be inside most of the day. And then um, be sure to make your reservations by Monday, April 17th or as soon as possible because rooms are going fast. Okay, we'll transition here into your booth setup. So here's a line drawing of your booth at NAON. This is a bit different than other shows, so keep that in mind. We don't do pipe and drape. It is all hardwall setup. Um, the hardwall booth will be in black with tuxedo carpeting. Uh, the whole hall is carpeted wall to wall, so you won't need to worry about booth carpet. And then included is also the daily vacuuming of your booth, so you won't need to order that separately unless there's other things you need to have cleaned. And then you will also receive a branded company name header. So this will be branded with the NAON uh, theme design and your company name on this panel E. And then um, it is important if you plan to have a pop-up banner or pop-up structure that you use from other shows, please send me a photo of what it will look like. That can go to the exhibit at orthonurse.org email address. Um, the branded header here is one foot high. So the maximum height of pop-up can be is seven feet tall which is less than the standard trade show height, which is generally eight feet. So if you try to put a pop-up here, it won't fit unless we take down this header. So it's okay if you have a pop-up, that's not a problem. We can always take down the header. It's just good to know this in advance uh, so we can make sure everything's taken care of before you get there on site. And then thank you to those that have already submitted a photo if you are going to have a pop-up. Um, so if you have anything, like I said, that's going to get in the way. Um, if you have a banner that can go in front of it, that's fine. This will just be in that back half of your booth, so. Okay, exhibitor service kit. Who is IMS? IMS stands for Inclusive Management Services. They are the local general service contractor in Puerto Rico that Freeman is partnering with um, for NAON since we are in Puerto Rico and um, we need the local partner and IMS is the local supplier for this area. So together IMS and Freeman are general service contractors for the event. Uh, you should have received an email from IMS with a link to the service kit. If you did not, please email us at exhibit at orthonurse.org. We will have it resent to you. And then you will need to order all items for within your booth. Only the hard wall and carpet are included. Tables, chairs, waste baskets, electrical, etc. So keep that in mind. Um, will all need to be ordered separately. And then internet will be available within the joint connection. However, for mission critical items, we recommend ordering your own connection through PSAV. So if you're doing any sort of demos or things that you need a stronger connection for, uh, make sure you order that separately. And then the discount deadline is Wednesday, April 26th. So you've got a few weeks still. Shipping. Um, so it is highly recommended to ship your items to the warehouse well in advance of the show to ensure they arrive to your booth on time. Shipments will be accepted at the warehouse starting on Monday, April 17th. The last day shipments will be accepted at the warehouse is Wednesday, May 17th. After this date, items can be sent direct to the convention center. Shipments need to arrive uh, Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. to 3.30. Be sure to label all items using the label in the exhibitor service kit. This is what it looks like here, and you can get this from uh, from the Freeman IMS service kit. And then just a special note, um, if you are ordering anything from Amazon, do not deliver or don't ship it to Puerto Rico um, because Puerto Rico does not receive Amazon shipments. Uh, someone learned the hard way, so it's good to just have it sent to yourself, and then you can always put those items in your check luggage don't know if it applies to you, but like I said, something to keep in mind if you're ordering anything from Amazon. Okay, the Exhibitor Marketing Kit. Uh, the Exhibitor Marketing Kit is a kit that includes promotional items to help market your participation at the NAN 37th Annual Congress. This includes uh, email promotional message, which you can personalize and send to all of your customers um, or your company email distribution list. Um, a template blog web copy that you can post to your website or blog, press release you can customize and send to your preferred media outlets, and then there's an annual congress web banner um, that you can post to your company website or use in your email signature, and there's two sizes. Uh, my colleague Teddy had sent an email to you all last Thursday with the marketing kit information. 
It includes, uh, it included the links to these items and you can also find this information on the exhibitor resource page. During the 2016 event, three exhibitors provided testimonials from their experience on site. If you are new to NAON, I would recommend listening to these testimonials to get a better feel for the event and what to expect. The testimonials are posted on the NAN website under Events Congress 2017 Exhibit at Congress, and then you can scroll down. Uh, these are really great. It's a good snippet, even if you've been to NAON, just as a reminder to show any team members uh, that haven't been before, just so they can understand what to expect. And then uh, wrapping up, so upcoming deadlines. Uh, for anyone that has not paid for their exhibit space, um, exhibit space must be paid for in full by this Friday. I talked about shipping. Um, the advanced shipments accepted are, will be accepted at the IMS Freeman Warehouse Monday, April 17th to Wednesday, May 17th. So start to get those items prepped so they can arrive um, starting on the 17th. And then just keep in, keep in mind this deadline of May 17th to um, get your items there so then you can avoid any additional surcharges. Uh, Friday, April 21st, NAN exhibitor appointed contractor EAC form due. I don't anticipate um, any EACs, but if you do have, if you are setting up your own booth or you're not planning to use the structure that we provide you, please uh, let us know so we can discuss with you and plan accordingly. And then uh, Wednesday, April 26th is the IMS Freeman discount deadline. Carpet, if you want to use a different color carpet than the tuxedo that's being provided. Uh, cleaning, if you need anything additional, like I said, the vacuuming is included. Electrical, floral, material handling, uh, all of those items, the discount deadline is the 26th. And then uh, if you are hoping to host any sort of hospitality uh, event outside of the show floor, um, there's a form that you can submit uh, notifying and getting approval for that. So that deadline is the 26th of April. Okay, uh, so time for questions. I wanna ask Jordan, did we receive any questions from the group? Nope, it doesn't look like we have any questions from the audience, but if you do have a question, you can submit it now. Oh, looks like we just got one. Okay. So it says, I saw on the Convention Center website that there is shipping for small packages via FedEx available for shipping back to the youth. What is small? Like what would be the measurements of small package for using via FedEx? So shipping back to the US? Is that the question? Let's see, I'll repeat it. It says, okay. I saw on the Convention Center website that there's shipping for small packages via FedEx available for shipping back to the U. Yeah, I'm assuming it's US. Um, yeah. It says use here. So what is sure. considered small? Yeah, I, I can't speak for FedEx um, in terms of, I mean, our preferred vendor would always be, you can ship it through FedEx, um, but material handling would have to be done through IMS Freeman. You can use the convention center if you want to, but like I said, our preferred vendor would be, um, you could, like I said, through IMS or Freeman. So you can ship FedEx, but they would have to be the ones that carry it out of your booth. If you wanna do it through the convention center, that would be on your own. And I can't speak for, for what they consider as small or what they're able to help you with, unfortunately, just cause they're not the carrier that we're recommending, but. I can always follow up with that individual separately too, to help. Okay, well she responded okay. to her question. Oh, um, okay. Do you want to read it? Sure. Okay. She said, IMS Freeman said so they don't ship back from the convention center unless we use ABH. Okay. Okay, I'll follow up with this individual and just make sure that I connect with Freeman and they have the proper shipping details, so. Okay, great. Um, doesn't look like we have another question. Um, so if okay. you do have a question, you can go ahead and submit it right now. Um, all right, Linda, I think that's okay. all we have for questions. Okay, great. So if you, if you do have any other further questions, you can direct it to myself or my colleague, Teddy, just send it to the exhibit at orthonurse.org email address, um, or you can call her directly. 
And then the recording of this webinar will be posted on the NAN Exhibitor Resource page and included in the next Exhibitor newsletter being sent later this week. Uh, so this is the end of our webinar. Thank you all for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in Puerto Rico. So thank you.